فولكس واجن لاماندو 2022 ميكس ايرلي دي بوت ان تشينا وذ سميلي فيس ذا رير اند ديزاين ميت ريمند يو اوف اي سارتين فرنش ميت زي سيدان. وايت وات از اي فولكس واجن لاماندو؟ It's essentially a sleeker version of the Sagittar Jita outside of China. In other words, the Lamandu is for the Jita what the Arteon is for the Passat. Just a segment below. The original model debuted in 2014 as a product of the SAICVW joint venture and it's almost time for the second generation. Fully revealing images of the vehicle's exterior have been published in the Publis Republic by the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology as part of the homologation process. The Lamandu is getting a an old new look for Alfan with Nan Washroon, adopting a smelly face reminding US of a second generation Mazda Thalatha. As for the headlights, they seem to take inspiration from VWS electric ID models and they honestly don't look half bad. Images published by MIIT show the Lamando in different trim levels, including a higher-end version with ghastly exhaust tips. Since we're at the back, we might as well address the elephant in the room. The full-width taillights send out a strong Peugeot 508 vibe. The second general model appears to have a more rakish rear end and we're wondering if it will switch from a traditional sedan to a more practical lift-back body style. Sadly, MIIT has not published images of the interior, although we're getting the impression the cabin is dominated by two side-by-side -side screens sticking out from the dashboard. If our assumption is correct, the Lamando will have a different dash than the mechanically related Sagita as the Chinese Jetta has a traditional setup with the The new Lamando is 4,784 mm, 188.3 inches, long, 1,831 mm, 72 in, wide, and 1,469 mm, 57.8 in, tall, with a 2,731 mm, 107.5 in, wheelbase. Making it significantly smaller than the Artian available in China with the old CC name. It's listed on the MIIT site with wheels varying in size from 16 to 18 inches. While power comes from a 1.4 TSI engine with 148 horsepower, 110 kilowatts, that VW has been using for more than a decade. Much like it's the case with the outgoing model, the next General Lamando will likely remain a China-only affair. The world's most populous country is still a sedan-loving audience, hence why VW has a lot of saloons offered locally including a flagship Fidian serving as an indirect successor of the ill-fated Phaeton. It might come as a bit of a shock, but VW still sells a Bora in China, along with other sedans available in various sizes.